We'll do one more example in the surface area section. What we want to do is show that the area of the part of the plane that projects onto the region D in the XY plane with area A of D is given by A of D, so the area of the region in the XY plane below, times the square root of A squared plus B squared plus 1. So what is this really saying? Not saying we've got some region in the plane down below. That's our region called D. And we know the area of that. That's A of D. And then what we have is a plane somewhere. So a plane given by Z equals AX plus BY plus C. So that plane, let's just get a sketch of a plane in here, could look something like this. So there's our plane. And this region projects onto some region on the plane. Let's see if I can get these things. I kind of didn't line that up properly, so I'll sketch it a little bit better. So it goes something like this. And so there's our region up above. And that's the region we would like to find the area of. In fact, we want to show the area of this region up above is related to the area of the region down below, no surprise. But it's related in that it is the square root of a squared plus b squared plus 1 times the area of the region below. And if you think about what happens here, should the area change? Yeah, absolutely it should, because the steeper I make this plane, this region D down below, it's going to get pushed up onto that plane and stretch out a really long distance along the plane. Whereas if the plane is just completely horizontal, then the projection of this region D up to the plane is just going to be the same as the region D. They'll be identical. So if I tilt the plane a little bit, then that region will stretch along the plane in order to make sure that it's sitting directly above the region D down below. So the, there's going to be this relationship. And that relationship is essentially depending on the angle the plane is sitting in, or in other words, its normal vector. Ah, but its normal vector we can read right off of the equation of the plane. The equation of the plane, if we want to read its normal vector off, we would rewrite it as ax plus by minus z is equal to negative c. And so the normal vector to the plane would be given by a, B, negative 1. And it's what it's saying is that the area of this region is the length of the normal vector times the area of the region in the XY plane. And that's what we're going to establish here. That's what we want to establish. So let's see, how would we do that? Well, we'll start with the surface we're interested in. That is the plane, AX plus BY plus C. Let's get its x partial, that's just a, its y partial, that's just b. So the area of the region we are interested in, uh, let's call it something, let's, uh, let's just call it r. So there's the region we are interested in. So we want to know what is a of r? What is the area of that region r? Well it is given by the integral over the region d of the square root of 1 plus f sub x squared plus f sub y squared dA. That is, it's the integral over d of the square root of 1 plus a squared plus b squared dA. Ah, but this integrand is now a constant, so I can bring it out front. It's the square root of 1 plus a squared plus b squared, the integral d dA. And this is precisely the integral that represents the area of d. And so there's our result. It's the square root of 1 plus a squared plus b squared times the area of the region d. And there we go. So that's it for the examples in this section. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you again next time.